two years. Two years, two years have come and gone in the unnecessary studio. And uh, as you can tell, I've been kind of busy for the past few weeks uh, emptying things out. There's, there's just nothing left. This space did its job for the past two years and I created some amazing projects inside of here. But it was, it was, it, it ran its course. It was time for an upgrade. And oh baby, wait till you see the brand new studio. But we have to do one last glorious look at the unnecessary studio 2.0. If you've been here for a while, you know this is 2.0. Heading over to 3.0. And I think I should start a timer because I'm pretty sure it's like a 19 to 30 second walk to the brand new studio. It was, it was not too bad of a move. But let's go, let's go check out the brand new Unnecessary Studio. Okay, it was 43 seconds. It probably would have been a little bit shorter if I wasn't trying to film, but it's a pretty short walk. But let's, uh, let's go check out the new studio. Welcome to the brand new Unnecessary Studio. Can you believe it? Well, I hope you can't because this is just the lobby. Welcome to the lobby of the brand new Unnecessary Studio. So the brand new studio is actually three times bigger than the old one. The old one was like 2,100 square feet and this one is over 6,000 square feet. I don't know what I'm getting myself into. But when you walk in the front door, we have this beautiful lobby here. I wanna do some sort of like speakeasy setup so that like you walk in here and it's like a whole experience and the door is hidden and you have to like push a button and then the door opens and then you actually go into the studio. But I'm still getting unpacked a little bit. We have some stuff set up here. We've got a nice little closet into the lobby and then into the main studio. But let's get some lights on. Now welcome to the brand new Unnecessary Studio. Just kidding, this is still only like half of it that I haven't done anything to yet. So I actually first looked at this space probably about six months ago. It was right around Halloween of 2022 when I knew that my lease on my old place was coming up and I just wasn't quite sure if I wanted to re-sign there or take the leap for something new. So this space here used to be a retail store and they had all this shelving built into the walls, all these different display cases. They had fitting rooms and all this kind of stuff that we had to get rid of. So for the past six months, I've had this space renovated from brand new floors, new lighting fixtures, ripping out all of those fitting rooms, getting rid of the shelving unit, repainting everything so that it looks exactly the way that I wanted it to and it looks so good. And so the space is basically divided up into two equal parts. We've got the one studio here that's about 3,000 square feet and then we've got my other main studio space over here which is another 3,000 square feet. And this side of the studio that's still pretty empty, I have a few really fun plans for it. I'm still figuring out all the details, but maybe some sort of an event space that I could have like events here, showing off some of my inventions, uh, building sets for different types of videos that I wanna do, storage for if I wanna actually start selling some of the products, I can you know have shelves and everything set up around here. And that's definitely why I took this space and why it's so massive is that I just wanted to have the option to kind of figure out what I wanted to do for the next multiple years of unnecessary inventions. I've got a few 3D printers here that I haven't been using recently. We also have a nice little storage closet over here. And here, let me, let me grab something real quick. I've got these all over unnecessary sweaters. If you wanna support the channel and uh, help me pay for this new studio, I'm gonna have these available for sale. I'm sure you've been seeing me wear them in a few different videos, but I'll throw a link down in the description and super limited edition, we've just got a few of them here. So get them while you can. They're super comfy, super cozy, and oh so unnecessary. But let's go check out the other side of the studio that's definitely more put together. And you might have seen little tidbits here and there in some of my shorts over the past few weeks. Let there be light.
So as you can see, over the past month or so, things have really started to take shape here at the brand new Unnecessary Studio, and I couldn't be happier with how things are turning out so far. Like this room right here is a dream to have. Just like the ultimate gear room for everything I might need all in one place, all within reach. On this wall, when you first walk in, we have all of my different camera equipment for everything I might need for a video shoot. And I had a similar pegboard wall in the old studio. And basically it's every single tool. I need a screwdriver, I grab it. I need some scissors, I grab it. I have all sorts of tape. I've got my Allen wrenches and everything has a space where it's supposed to go. And I, for the most part, try to put everything back where it came from. And then this massive wall of colorful crates has like every additional accessory I need from mold making to fabric to magnets to anything I can think of that's just like some random accessory. It's gonna be inside one of these cases up here. And then this last wall here has like random power tools. We've got Arduino stuff, we've got motors, buttons, all the little additional accessories I might need to bring a project to life. And I love that it just has its own room to live inside here and I can put everything back right where it needs to be. <laughs> and then we, have, then we have this absolutely massive room. It's enormous, it's huge, I love it. We've got the Glowforge here. We've got some desktop CNC machines. We got some resin 3D printers. We've got some FDM 3D printers. We've got some t-shirt printers. We got some sticker printers. And across this entire wall, I'm gonna have photos of every single one of my inventions, just like the wall of narcissism that was in the old studio. We're gonna put it even more of them all the way across here. Over here, we've got some sewing machines. We've got my Cricut. I have another machine that should be here soon going in here. We've got all of my rug making supplies with my rug tufting frame right here, right next to my desk. We also built, one thing I like about having this as an old retail space is I have all of these mirrors like everywhere so I could check myself out. But we also built this little kitchen right here. Oh look, we've got the knit mystery that is, <laughs> it's pretty empty these days. A lot of nips have slowly disappeared off the knit mystery. But moving into the last unnecessary studio was definitely a huge shift from like everything I was doing and I kind of hope that this space does the same exact thing for me. I feel like I never really follow the trends of like what's going on on YouTube or social media. I just like to make whatever comes to my head. So hopefully some fun stuff is gonna come out of this studio. If there's anything specific that you wanna see on this channel, maybe it's like 3D printer reviews or finding random products on the internet and checking them out. I don't know, I feel like I'm gonna really try to experiment a lot more in this studio. And thank God I'm finally filming this video. I've had a bunch of ideas of things I've wanted to do, but I sort of needed to introduce the studio to you guys before I just kind of like randomly showed up in a new studio and didn't say anything about it. Should we, uh, should we check out the final, the final last little hangout area back here? The unnecessary intern is completely naked right now, and I need to get him redressed with a whole bunch of inventions. He's got the uh, ramen noodle belt on, but that's about it. And right next to him, we've got not one, but two arcade machines. Both of them have like 15 games built into them, and they're kind of fun when I'm getting a little bored. The one thing I learned is when you get a studio all to yourself and you get a ping pong table, it's really boring because you, you can't play with yourself. And I did finally get the Mischief Big Red Boots, and they are everything I could have ever wanted. But check out these windows that I have in the studio. They are amazing for natural light, and because of that, I got myself 23 different plants. But other than that, we got a nice hangout area. I got this new Keith Herring rug that's super colorful. But this is the very first look at the brand new Unnecessary Studio. It's, it's coming together, I would say. I signed a pretty long lease, so I've got plenty of time to get this place outfitted. Make sure you go grab one of those Unnecessary sweaters if you wanna grab them. I assume they're gonna go pretty quick because I do not have a lot of them. But with that, I am gonna go play some arcade games and I will see you at the next Unnecessary Invention. See ya.